Hello and welcome to my video that's going to be about Canva Magic Write educational use. In this scenario, I'm going to write an essay with AI being Canva Magic Write. If you'd like to follow along or test this out, I will leave a link in the description. And if you click that, you can actually try out Canva Magic Write for free, which is always a cool thing. So what I did is come up with a topic and I remember writing an essay using different AI previously. I think someone said like, you don't, you can't write, you know, essays on like fitness or other random stuff like that. And you can pretty much write an essay on almost anything. I don't know about you, but I went to high school, I went to college, I've done essays on fitness and muscle building. So anyway, I, I specifically looked for examples about uh, essay topics on physical exercise. One is why we should be playing sports. Pretty broad, but nevertheless, this one was kind of short, which is fine. They don't have to be super long. And I'm going to show you how this is done in this scenario. So we have our four main things right here. We need an outline. Then we're going to want to write the intro, the paragraph for each section, and of course, an outro. So Using this, let's click on the plus button, magic write. So I'm going to do write an outline for an essay called, and let's put in the title, why we should be playing sports. I'll keep it like that. It's fine. And enter. All right. And right off the bat, we have a ton of topics. So I'm going to delete this just because we have our outline there. And what we want to do here is go through and do all these sections. I'm not going to do all of them because that's going to take five hours, not five hours, but you know, Usually when it comes to this, I'll show you how to do something. I'll do it a couple times. And then from then on out, like you can figure it out yourself. Like you don't have to go through all the steps in order to do this. So next we have our intro. So we did that, our outline. So here, what I'm going to do is put my mouse here and allow me to put a prompt in, write me an introduction for an essay called why we should be playing sports as simple as it is, right? That's what we're looking for. That's what we'll get. Let's hit enter. All right. And it always gives you that little extra thing where it says it's new and improving. So please check the accuracy before sharing. So sports are a great way to stay active and healthy. They promote physical fitness and mental well-being, and it can be an important part of a balanced lifestyle. Additionally, they provide an opportunity to socialize and make new friends while also teaching important lessons about teamwork and perseverance. In this essay, we will discuss why participating in sports is beneficial and why we should be encouraging more people to get involved. We will look at the physical and mental health benefits as well as the social and educational advantages that come with playing sports. By the end, you will understand why sports are so important and why we should be all playing or why we should all be playing. So great. Now, keep in mind, whenever you get an outline, I didn't discuss this before, you don't have to use every single section right here. But let's just say I like this one. I will go with this one next. But if you see one here you didn't like, let's just say like um, improve improved uh community You're like sure i don't care for that one you can just delete it obviously and go from there so that's something to keep in mind you don't have to use every single little aspect that they give you you can always edit things around but that's up to you let's go to magic right again so definition of sports and how it can be beneficial i mean i think that's pretty good right let's hit enter it can be uh, defined as physical activities that involve skill, competition, and or physical exertion. Sports can be beneficial for people of all ages since they can help reduce stress, improve physical health, build social connections, and increase self-esteem. Participating in them can also help to increase one's physical fitness, strength, and endurance. By competing with others, sports can also help people to develop skills such as teamwork, communication, problem solving, and resilience. On top of all this, playing sports can be a great form of entertainment and can help to foster a sense of camaraderie among the players. So pretty good, right? Let's see. Thesis statement. Playing sports provides many physical and mental benefits that help us lead to healthier and happy lives. You know, we could do that one. I just want to do something that's a little bit more niche down. So like this one, increased self-confidence. Let's hit plus. Talk about why... Playing sports will increase your self-confidence. Enter. All right, and let's get rid of this. It's like it just tells you what you put there. So playing sports can be a great way to boost your self-confidence. Not only can it help you to stay physically fit, but it can also help you build mental toughness. When you play sports, you get the opportunity to push yourself beyond what you thought were your limits. And when you do something you didn't think you could do, it can give you a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction that can increase your self-confidence. Additionally, playing sports can help to build your social skills and give you the opportunity to form strong relationships with your teammates and coaches. This camaraderie and support can go a long way in helping you to feel more confident in yourself. All in all, playing sports can be an incredibly rewarding experience that can help to increase your self-confidence. I mean, that's pretty much what we're looking for, right? Let's do one more. 
let's just say I'm gonna save like one of those for the end. And let's see, enhance. There we go. Coordination and agility. Let's do plus. So we have talk about how playing sports can enhance your coordination and agility. I, I'm going to quickly skim through this. So it talks about agility, coordination, can help to build strong muscles, bones, flexibility. Uh, let's see. So like basketball, soccer, and volleyball can help develop your hand-eye coordination and reaction speed, uh, focus, reacting quickly. Uh, sports such as running, jumping, and throwing can help improve your agility and balance. Sports that help to improve your overall cardiovascular health, build endurance, and so on and so forth. So Something you got to keep in mind, like I just read there, like improve your endurance. Like we might've talked about that previously. So saying like, say I've seen this before, something similar in a different way. You could always just delete this, right? So that's something you would have to go through. And this is going to be the process. So we did the intro and what we would do is continue that same process. We can remove this, right? And go through each of the sections that we want to write paragraphs about. Like I said, I'm not going to go through all of these, but whichever ones you would like, you would do. And then last but not least, once you've done that, we would do our outro, right? So we had our intro. We have all the stuff in the middle. And then, of course, we're going to go with the outro. So let's just pick one of these. Summary of this. Let's just do like a call to action. Give me one second. I'm going to write this up. Okay, so I put write me an outro for why we should play sports, encourage others to participate in sports to enjoy the benefits, and let's see what we get. So playing sports is a great way to stay fit, have fun, and meet new people. Not only does it help keep you physically active, but it can also improve your mental and emotional health. It boosts your confidence, helps you learn communication and teamwork skills, and gives you a sense of accomplishment. Plus, it's just plain fun. So don't be afraid to get out there and get involved in sports. It's a great way to stay healthy, have some fun, and make some new friends. And just like that, obviously, with a few more paragraphs in the middle, is the process when it comes to using Canva Magic Write for educational use, most specifically creating essays, writing essays. Like I said, this is a very shortened um, version of this, but as long as you have the template, you're going to be able to do this with any type of topic that you want. So I hope you got some value out of this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Down below, I will also have a link to Canva where you can test them out for free. Canva does come with a free plan and you can use Canva Magic Write a little bit. It's a little limited, but you can at least test it out with a free plan, which is always a good thing. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.